let us start another question of Donald Neyman 5.3 okay Donald Neyman semiconductor physics so the required conductivity of n type silicon sample at t equal to 300 is to be this much okay what a donor impurity concentration is required is the first question what is the electron mobility corresponding to this impurity concentration is the second question and a p-type silicon material is required to have resistivity this much what acceptor impurity concentration is required and what is the corresponding hole mobility ok so they have given sigma and asked for impurity concentration and electron mobility for n-type for p-type they have given resistivity and they have asked acceptor impurity concentration and hole mobility so we have to calculate we have to calculate for n type and p type given we have resistivity or conductivity we have to calculate what is the electron mobility and impurity concentration of donor hole mobility and impurity concentration of acceptor ok so let us start what we know we know the formula of conductivity in for n type semiconductor conductivity for n type semiconductor conductivity for n type semiconductor is is what sigma is equal to e mu n nd okay here e is the charge of electron mu n is the hole mobility and is the donor concentration and is what donor concentration ok this is electron mobility electron mobility ok now we know that sigma is equal to 1 upon rho ok so rho is equal to 1 upon sigma which is equal to 1 upon 10 this is equal to we can say 10 is to minus 1 ohm centimeter now we can find the donor impurity concentration using the graph which is available to us in figure in figure 5.4a of textbook ok we have the graph between we have the graph between resistivity resistivity rho and impurity concentration impurity concentration per centimeter cube in the Donald Neiman textbook ok I can show you the text in the textbook let us see see this is what figure 5.4 a ok figure 5.4 a let us zoom into it this is figure 5.4 a so we are having resistivity let us take it on the page Okay, so all of you can now see the graph here this is resistivity of silicon at 300 now let's check in the problem silicon at 300 ok we have conductivity we got resistivity 10 is to minus 1 ok now we have to calculate donor impurity concentration 
so it's easy now see 10 is to minus 1 10 is to minus 1 is here okay 10 is to minus 1 is here so just to go through 10 is to minus 1 you will get something here in logarithmic scale okay okay so see it is somewhere between fifth and sixth line right so the answer will be for the concentration it will be 5.95 into 10 is to 16 the impurity concentration okay impurity concentration here see per centimeter cube ok so now we will calculate we can write this approximately 6 into 10 is to 60 16 per centimeter cube this is our ND ok donor impurity concentration so you now understand what is the approach of this problem we got 10 is to minus 1 resistivity we got conductivity sorry donor concentration using impurity concentration versus resistivity graph now see. so now mobility mobility is the question so we know we know sigma is equal to e mu n nd nd right now we calculated 6 into 10 is to 16 per centimeter cube ok so sigma is what so we are now uh, trying to calculate electron mobility mu n mu n is equal to sigma upon e into nd this is very basic formula e equal to e mu n nd so now we have everything here so this is what 10 upon 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 into 6 into 10 is to 16 so electron mobility is what it is 10 ok it is near about 1050 centimeter square per volt second ok so the formula that you needed is this and this now let us move to B part we have P type P type silicon material resistivity is given ok what we have P time resistivity is directly given this time 0 0.20 per 0 0.20 ohm centimeter 0 0.20 ohm centimeter ok this is given to us now see for 0 0.20 for 0 0.20 in the same figure in the same figure for this time p type okay so okay so this time p type point two zero two zero means what point two zero means what two into ten is two minus one okay so this is simply here this is ten is two minus one two into ten is two minus one and for p type this line this and for n type this line so for p type the answer comes to be something near to ok something near to 9.8 into 10 is to 16 ok so this is very 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 near to 10 is to 17 see this line ok so n is what n is 10 is to 17 per centimeter cube right so we got n a now we got n a 
not na na is 10 is to 17 per centimeter cube okay so now we have to calculate the whole mobility this is equal to sigma upon e into na because sigma uh, sigma is equal to e mu n a okay e mu p n a e mu p n a or this is also equal to e mu n and d okay so this time we are using this because it is a p type for p type for n type right so this is equal to sigma is what we know sigma 1 by rho so 1 by 0 0.20 upon a this will be centimeter per ohm per centimeter ok and for this what we have e 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 coulomb into into what into na versus 10 is to 17 per centimeter cube so this comes out to be 320 centimeter square per volt second so that's it for this problem see you in the next video